I mean. Uh, I trust that since you escaped the death tank, you found your way into my lab at the farm, yes? You heard the notes and saw the fate of the poor badger. Now, where best to play those notes for a whole town to succumb to them? Ah, the sound of the peeling bells ringing across the sky will, to me, be the sweet sound of rebirth. Uh... Why'd you make me tear down the Exotico? May it rest in peace. Setting aside the fact that the Exotico was the physical manifestation of at least five of the deadly sins, and the fact that it was run by that horrible, gluttonous, sloth, Filthy Rich. Now, have you ever taken the time to speak to Filthy Rich? He's actually rather nice. And the fact that it represented everything that was wrong with the Clapper's Reek Chamber of Commerce. I needed the... um... the... that. Now, you're trying to say you wanted to get your hands all over Filthy Rich's massive throbbing pole. <laughs> Not in those exact words, but yes. You see, the bells are good, but to amplify the vibration of the bells to carry across the entire town, uh, you needed an enormous vibrator. Uh, I needed the intense output of waves it provided to... Your plan for the destruction and rebirth of a sinful town hinged on your acquisition of an enormous sex toy? Well, yes. <laughs> kind of ironic, isn't it? <laughs> uh... Where the hell is my 25,000 quid? Why, how do you think I've funded this lovely festival? Boy, can't get much for 25 large these days. Most of it went on the band. Never mind, I'll get it. Uh... What was the exact moment in your life that made you such an unhappy little man? Oh, Hector, are you profiling me? Like an actual real detective? <laughs> No, I just want some backstory I can taunt you with later. Uh, well, since you're being so uncouth about it, I'll make this long and dull. Ah, what the hell. Bold bags, what have I done? Okay. <clears throat> back when I was but a young lad... Yeah, yeah, town went ugly on you. Look, we did all this back at the building. Oh, yes, right, we did. I'll skip ahead to college. As the town was quickly descending into the moral cesspit of Peccadillo, I had ascended to the top of my class at Clapper's Reek Polytechnic. Ha! Top of his class? They give out diplomas like we give out parking tickets. I graduated with honours, with a double major in hospitality and biochemistry. I was ready to challenge the world. Despite offers from all over the country, I made a beeline for the Clapper's Reek Tourism Board. I was going to do my best to turn this town around and make it a place to be proud of again. I had fresh ideas, new campaigns to bring in the tourists in droves, drive up the economy and the town's sense of self-worth. If only they'd listened to me then. The town got worse. All tourism funding was poured into the ill-fated Clappers Reek Charity Casino and so began the avalanche effect. Crime, corruption, sin, debauchery. The town had slipped down a canyon so low that there was no way out. <laughs> Except to keep digging, of course. Digging until you get so low you emerge out the bottom. And that's where Arsenal will punch through. What exactly is in those badges? Ready for another flashback? All right. Get on with it. After the collapse of the tourist board, I hung up my hospitality coat in favor of my other college major, biochemistry. You see, I had a profound vision. Tell me, Hector, what is it that makes some people cheerful and others grumpy? Sex. Parental approval. Cost reduction. Accessibility to pharmaceuticals. Accessibility to pharmaceuticals. You're actually not that far off. It's a chemical imbalance in the brain. Take any behavioral disorder. Autism, Asperger's, OCD, ADHD. All can be modified by restoring a chemical balance to the brain through medication. Right, so if it works for them, why not ourselves too? Exactly. What if I could isolate the gene or synapse that causes impoliteness, sarcasm, general ill will? You'd be putting me out of a job. 
but isn't that a good thing? Not to my wallet. I'd have to learn an actual skill, like timber joinery or Microsoft bleeding Excel. <laughs> After years of searching, I finally located the corner of the brain responsible for rudeness, disrespect, and deceit. I dubbed it the occipital lobe. I would have gone for the ectoral cortex myself. I hadn't met you yet. Once I'd found that, my goal was to synthesize a counter-agent, Nisetol. Anyone exposed to Nisetol nice would at have all. their occipital lobe physically shrink and become, in a word, nice. But what I discovered was quite the opposite. You see, it's much easier to enhance the qualities of the occipital lobe rather than suppress them. I carried out illicit tests on animals and in some cases humans and everything and everyone became angrier, meaner, less patient and more violent. In short, a complete arse. Yes. So, in attempting to create nice at all, you actually created arsenal. Buckets of it. Enough arsenal. for every man, woman and child in the town ten times over. Uh... So that's your plan? You're gonna turn everyone in town into arseholes? Yes! An entire town of raving, vicious, amoral bastards! <laughs> How will you know it worked? <laughs> because I'll be up here watching as the whole town boils over in a horrible, bloody deathmatch! I've decided that this town is beyond saving, so I've decided to wipe the slate clean and start again! <laughs> uh... So what do you expect to happen once the bells go off? Chaos, disorder, mayhem, wanton destruction, and yes, murder. The town will devour itself in its own horrendous bastardness, the likes of which not even you could imagine. I don't know. You should see my dreams. <laughs> and then, when the whole town lies dead, I'll emerge triumphant from my tower and build a happier, friendlier Clapper's Reek from its ashes. Claptopia. Claptopia. Where will you get the happy people from to repopulate it? Canada. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're good people, <laughs> except the French, of course. Yeah, you're not kidding. <laughs> Canada. Why don't you just move to Newquay or something? Why should I be the one who has to move? I'm the nice guy. You're kind of going against the grain a bit. This is my town, and you've all ruined it. So I'm going to ruin it back. That's a bit immature. You dare to call me immature? Tosspot. Your stories are the delusional, ludicrous gibberings of a raving half-wit. Where have I heard that before? I think I said something like that to you back at the building. It was such a well-phrased insult, I thought I'd use it again. Uh... I'll stall for time later. Stuff to do with that. Drop that whatever you've got in your hand and kick it across the floor to me. What's this? <laughs> you don't want me to do that. Indeed I do. You see, it's called a dead man's switch. How appropriate. It means that if I let go of it, the detonation sequence begins immediately. So if I die, or I'm knocked unconscious, or even just startled by a small bird, it's bye-bye, Clapper's Reek. <laughs> Still want me to kick it over? Boom. Ah, don't do that. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't help myself. <laughs> uh... You seem busy, I won't keep you any longer. Okay, let me take that moonshine jug. Ugh, empty, that old lush. Go back downstairs. Hold off on Armageddon just a few more minutes. I'm making popcorn downstairs. <laughs> right, there's got to be something around here I can use to unequivocally monkey up his detonator, what's it? Wonder where that clocksmith fella got off to. Hmm. Probably airdropped him into downtown Tehran. They'll take anybody these days. Okay, let's get some more uh, juice. Single One drop. drop. Hmm. I was hoping for the ultimate Molotov cocktail to bung up his device. Still, drunkards can't be choosers. Best to save it for something small. 
Okay, let's do it on the lock. Okay. Sometimes a drip is all you need. Imagine what this could do for the chrome on me caravan. Now, let's see if there's anything useful in it. Oh, God! Borko from the Preservation Society. I'll rip the Borko bloody smile from his Borko bloody Borko face. Borko. Oh, hello. It's you. No. Nothing useful in your <laughs> The hell, man? On your feet, soldier. Hey, what? Couple flack, sir. Sir, with all due respect, sir, I am standing at as full attention as I am capable, sir. Oh, wait, it's just you. Excuse me while I sit back down in disrespect. <laughs> There's a crazed terrorist up in your clock about to unleash hell upon the town. Serves them bloody right, I say. Call me when the smoke clears. And get the door on your way out. Uh. Quit your belly aching and get up those stairs on the double. Stairs? Ha! Have you taken a look at me lately? With your good eye? Last time I did bloody stairs, I was being pushed by Winston Churchill. Forcefully and down, I reckon. Uh. If you don't do stairs, how'd you get up there to fix the clock? Same way I always do. Oh, that's good. How? Which is how exactly? Oh, right. Uh, there's a dumb waiter behind the distillery. Really? Dumb waiter? Where does it go? Opens out onto the roof. From there, I take the platform down and get in through window to clock face. Perfect. Hmm. I can get onto the roof, and then when that smug son of a... I don't mean to ruin your climax, but the dumb waiter only seats one, and that's me. Why can't I go in the dumb waiter? Because I rigged it in such a way that if anyone doesn't match my weight and size, is allowed to get within six feet of the top, it plummets, killing whoever's inside. Why would you do that? Why else, bloody Borko spies? <laughs> uh. Look, you old codger, it's time to stand up for what you believe in. <laughs> Is that another crack at me wheelchair? <laughs> of course not, I meant metaphorically stand up. <laughs> then you can metaphorically piss up a flagpole, Razzie. <laughs> Come on, help me. You'll get yourself respect back. Self-respect? Don't talk to me about self-respect. You're the one standing there in his underpants. What the hell are you talking about? I'm fully dressed. Eh? Oh, sorry. Can't really see out of my left eye. You help me take this guy down and I promise you a soldier's death. Okay, I'm in. What? I'm not leaving until you help me. Piss off! Where's me blimmin' shotgun? Good question. Where is your blimmin' shotgun? Oh, right. There was a blockage in the distillery. Only thing I had long enough to waggle it out was me shotgun. Melted the shells and kablooey! it. Ears ringing like nam all over again. Uh, or oh, was it Gallipoli? Oh, they all run together now. Barely hear you in your right bleeding in front of me. I need your help to unfix this clock. You what? It's only been running for a bleeding day. Have you got any weapons in this place? Okay, after losing the shotgun, all I got left are my wits. So we're unarmed then? <laughs> Not pretty much. <laughs> Hang on, what was that noise in your head? What's this? Yeah, Metal. Just another one of me old war stories. You don't want to hear it, I don't expect. Uh. Does it involve you getting injured? If so, then yes. All right, then. It were night. Surrounded on all sides, including above and below. Explosions coming from all directions. I was in the larder, trying to put together late supper for 800 injured soldiers. They called me Cookie. <laughs> no time for imagination back then. Is this going to be a long one? Then suddenly, bang! Bloody Borko shot right through the hole. Non-perishables flying everywhere. Nowhere to hide. No escape. 
tin of chicken Vienna sausages lodged in me head. Still there to this very day. What? Well, I'm surprised they didn't make a movie of that. Jerry Bruckheim is working on it as we speak. Uh. Can I see the tin? Ho, 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 boy, oh, it's a gruesome sight for little eyes such as yours. I dare you to look upon. Ah! Thank you. Thank you for the gift, but terrible timing. Terrible timing. Kiss. <laughs> wow. That, um, that is... Who told you it was a tin of sausages? Ha! Doctors told me not to worry too much about it. Why? Because it ain't a tin of sausages. Eh? It's an unexploded bomb. You what? Probably told you not to worry because they figured you'd be dead in an hour. That explains why they put me in a ward by myself. <laughs> uh, I need that bomb. Can I see the bomb in your head again? Oh, if you don't mind, can we keep calling it the tin of sausages? Hey, your uh, tin. Neat. Neat. Uh, thank you. Sit tight. I always do. I lost my lower intestine in war. Okay, can I... Let's see that bomb in your head again. Right, now, hold still. This might pinch a bit. <laughs> wow! I can see your brain. What happens when I do this? Wow, well, see your leg just then? That weren't my leg. <laughs> <laughs> and easy. Fallen on me head more times than you've had hot ladies. So, four times Oh, God. Then. Oh, really? No, I had you down for less than that. Well, regardless of your definition of hot, I wouldn't be too ginger with that thing. Around this long. Should take one hell of a wallop to set that bugger off. I'll keep that in mind. Alright, let's take this bob upstairs. Oh, that was freaking funny. Hmm. Let's see. Old Clappy. What are you, an idiot? Old Clappy hasn't looked this shiny since the Blitz. That looks like the perfect place to deliver an almighty bang, but I need to make sure Barnsley's distracted first. Alright. Would you mind explaining a few more things before I die? Of course, I love going on at length about my own brilliance. Uh... What was the exact moment in your life that made you such an unhappy little man? Oh, Hector. No, I'll just... Uh... Ah, what the hell. Bold bags, what have I done? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, town. Oh, yes, right. As the town, I had... Ha! I grad... I can't Despite seem to I was you do anything. I had free health worth. If only the town the avalanche crime. <laughs> Dig it. Hmm. What exactly? Ready for another? All right. Get on with it. After the collapse, you see. Tossers like you. Nope, it's take all exact but not hmm. after seat. Let me... I dumped it. The I would have in Did this already. Got why is this gotta distract yes. him? So in a arsenal in a Hmm. 
You seem busy. Not while Barnsley's watching me like a hawk. A sissy hawk with a detonator. Uh... I've already got one that big in me trousers. <laughs> well, not if I break her, I meant. Oh, never mind. Uh. Excuse me, I have. The old fella must still be up on the roof. Sorry, Lardo. No can do. That dumb waiter's built specifically to house one lithe warrior and his stealth transport unit. Hmm. You mean a brittle skeleton wrapped in a flaking husk of skin in his rusty wheelchair? You want my help or not? Stealthy warrior. Got it. Here. I can't come down. Can you take the bomber? Oh, it don't take much. Besides, he told me he wanted to see me medals. Nobody ever asks me about me medals. Should have been your first clue he was up to something. Right. Okay, I've got a plan. Right, you bring that bomb with you and take the stairs. I'll take Dumbwaiter to roof. When you shout the code word, I'll distract him from outside. Once he's looking out the window for me, you place the bomb somewhere in the machinery where it's likely to receive a god-awful huge wallop. Then we wheel like wildfire out of there and watch the fireworks from a good distance away. Be just like Khrushchev's beach house all over again. Uh. Can I see your brain again? All right. Just don't go sneezing on it or nothing. <laughs> Neat. Okay, good plan. That's a pretty good plan. So all we need is a code word. I'll get him chatting and in mid-conversation I'll slip in a simple word like... Like... Uh, reindeer flotilla? R avocado. Avocado? Work fine at Khrushchev's speech house. <laughs> no reason it won't work now. Uh, let's see. Avocado. Avocado? Yep. Seriously? Yep. Can we choose a different code word? Nope. My plan. My word. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. If we need to regroup, just knock twice on the distillery and I'll pop back down. It's been an honor serving with you. I'd like to say the same, but you're no corporal flack. <laughs> Okay. Gotta go upstairs now. So we got our plan now. Oh, brill. That old coot actually came through. Oh, God. In this light, your nose looks rather like an avocado. In this light, your hair looks rather like a fecal starfish. Uh... Tossa. Would you mind explaining a few more things before I die? Of course, I love going on at length about my own brilliance. I'll stall for time like... Alright, uh, avocado face. You're finished in this town. On the contrary, I've barely begun in this town. Uh, melon head. Why isn't it working? Tossa. Your plan has more holes than a worm-eaten avocado. But still less than your shirt. You should see my underpants. I have. Huh. How do you think I got you into that hospital gown? Why isn't he... You're dumber than a myopic Mexican heavy artillery engineer. What does that mean? Well... You see, being nearsighted, one might mistake a box of grenades for... Ah, oh, forget it. Sometimes I wonder about you. Why isn't it working? What the hell is that bloody clockkeeper doing? Come on, old man! Uh... One Come second, on. I think I'll let me car run in. 
Where is that deaf bloody goatard? I'll be doing Leisure Suit Larry on YouTube because it's banned on Twitch. Where the hell is he? Satellite like Cardo, bloody hell. Why didn't you do it, old man? Sir. What the hell? I must have said avocado 50 bleeding times. You said no such thing. I did. I wasn't even subtle about it. Oh, blast. Blimmin' ears still ringing like Bastille Day. I can only hear you when you stand right in front of me. Can you hear anything up there? I could hear him talking just fine. Must be your gravelly lower register voice. Terrorist oh. sings like a blimmin' Vietnamese peasant girl, loud and clear. I gotta get him to say it. Okay. Right, we need a new plane. You pulling rank on me, young book? I don't think so. The plan stays. But you can't hear me. Yeah, but I can hear him. All you need to do is get him to casually slip the word avocado into conversation. Oh, God. Dismissed. So how am the I going to get avocado. him to play? How could I possibly forget something so abysmally stupid? Uh... All right, uh... They banned it because it's all about having sex with women. And they don't want that on Twitch. Um, so I got to get him to try to say... Knock, knock. Who's there? Avo. Avo who? Avocado. Ha! Ball bags, that didn't work. Okay, <laughs> wait. This time you start. I don't have time for your nonsensical games. Uh, uh... Let's play a game. When I say, ah, oh, you say, Vicardo. What are you on about? Uh, please, Hector, you're not making any sense. <laughs> uh... Listen, you can help settle a bit between me and a guy at work. Is guacamole made from pistachios? What? Do I look like Wikipedia? A little around the eyes. Uh... Listen. You can help settle a bit between me and a guy at work. Is guacamole made from pistachios? What? A little around... Uh... Before I die, I'd like to make one last request. Oh, I suppose I owe you that much. What is it then? I'd just like to hear you say one thing before you plunge the town into chaos and dismemberment, and that's... Avocado. Avocado. That's the one thing in the world you want me to say? Yes. Out of all the words in the entire <laughs> world? Yes. <laughs> you want me to say... Yes, bloody yes. Say it. Avocado? <laughs> oh, thank <laughs> God. Now, what in the blue blazes is that? Oh, excuse me, <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Sorry, distracted there for a moment. You were saying something about mm. an avocado? Uh, no, I wasn't. <laughs> yes, you certainly were. You kept yelling avocado over <laughs> and over. <laughs> um, I... Avocado, 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 you kept saying. What the bloody avocados have anything to... <laughs> Damn. Too much. <laughs> A bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell will erupt through the streets of Clapper's Reek. Civil disobedience will be uncontainable. Let the rehabilitation of Claptopia begin. Precious and expensive town clock. What have you done? What have I done? I've just gone and saved the bleeding town from a bioterrorist plot. That's what I've done. There's your terrorist, Bond.